Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit different. It is going to be another sit down video. The main question that I have been really thinking about is... Where do I see myself in five years? Where do I see myself in five years? What do I plan on doing? Where do I plan on living, doing, working, stuff like that? Um, I have thought a lot about this. I have things on my mind. I have a lot, actually. Not a lot, but a good... Like, a good idea. So, five years from now will be, let's see, it's about to be 2019, so 2020. 21, 22, 23, 24. 2024 will be five years from now. And I, I don't know where, where I'll be then. I'm only 22 years old. I'm not sure what, where I will be then just quite yet. I'm hoping that, you know, I'll you know, meet someone, hopefully be living on my own, possibly with that one person. You know, well, I mean, that's one part of the story that will probably be on hold for, I don't know how long, but pretty much where I see myself in five years is hopefully still living a healthy lifestyle and just living life as my definition of perfect as possible, trying to stay focused, stay positive, stay determined in a sense of how I, why I want this life, how, how I plan to keep this life the way that it is. So I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping to not only make a difference compared to the present to the future, but I'm hoping to make a difference to those who are struggling with some struggles of similar to mine that I've had over the past year, going into the future, any of those type of things. So, I mean, yeah, I kind of, again, have a lot to think about. I have a lot to think about, yet yeah, a lot to be grateful and thankful for also, because, you know, I have a roof over my, over my head, I have food on the table, I have, I have a job, I make enough money for right now, I have clothes on my back, I have family and friends as support and good company, other things like that, and like I, like I said, people, and that includes myself, have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton to be thankful for. Um, there really is no amount of gratefulness and thankfulness that could top the amount that you, that we probably feel every single day. There's probably, you know, a million million things that could be regret that could be a regret there are probably a million million things that I wish didn't happen um, but unfortunately they did and what's the pa what's the past is the past and we can't change that what's the past is the past and it's the past for a reason so I mean you just have to live you have to live the, you have to live the life the way you want to. You have to live the life in a, in a way that you never thought possible. You have to keep it positive. You have to keep the long-term lifetime goals. You need to just be happy and be like I said grateful and look look forward to what the future holds. Look forward to future moments, goals, lifestyle, uh, like, you know, where you see yourself in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years even, but you have to, you have to live by it and you have to believe that you can make the future 
what the future of what you want possible and no one else can really make that choice except you no one can make that choice except you and you have to be determined and believe that you're the only one that can I would say as advice for the upcoming future, I would say advice would be look positive, look look into it positively, believe and be encouraged by the advice people give, the advice that even the bad advice that people have given you, look look back on that as a chapter to your future story. Look on that as a way to just be yourself, be bright, be open, be passionate about the life that you've been living, the life that you want to live in the future, anything like that. Any other advice would just be, I mean, there really isn't, I mean, there really isn't, like, I can't say more than just stay positive, focus on the goals that you want to achieve, be determined that you can achieve them, look at things in a brighter light at the end of the tunnel than you did before, be thankful, be focused, be smart about the decisions, that's a big one, be smart about the decisions that you make, make the right choices for yourself health-wise, emotion-wise, um, mentally make the right decisions because your life depends on, all of your life depends on the choices and the decisions that you make. Make sure that they're healthy decisions, safe decisions, and the decisions that are right and meant for you. Never make a decision that you're going to regret in about six months. Never make a decision that you're going to regret in the next two years, something like that. Be smart, be positive, and look forward. Look forward and never look back because all of that looking back will just bring back, will just bring, bring back great pain. And that great pain brought you down. That great pain brought you down. It brought you not, not to where you want to be. Be sure to always look the, look in the right direction. Look at the bright light at the end of the tunnel. Be right, be right with yourself. Make the right choices. Make the right choices and be smart and happy with the decisions that you make. Never, ever, ever, ever regret a decision unless it's absolutely necessary. Never, ever do that. Never regret a decision that's going to impact you, whether it's boldly and negatively. Don't regret a decision. Make the decision the right way, the smart way, and be be happy. Be positive in a way that, oh my gosh, I made this right decision and look where it's gotten me. Ten years later, oh my gosh, I have this beautiful house, I have this beautiful family, or, what, or whatever. Whatever it may be, make sure it's the right decision. Be happy with yourself. Be positive. Keep doing what you're doing to make the life for whether it's your children, your spouse. Be positive and look grateful and, and look and be grateful so that you can create the future for your family or your spouse or anybody in your life that's here now and you and you want to make the right lifestyle choices that you made for yourself for them look positive look at the right light at the end of the tunnel the bright light never ever look back because all that looking back will just bring back fear regret It'll just bring back darkness, really. It'll just bring back darkness. And for the happiness and positivity that you've probably come across in the future, you don't need. You don't need that darkness because that darkness has brought you down and you do not need it. You want to look at the right end of the tunnel, be positive about it, and look 
in the right direction. I can't stress that enough. Look in the right direction. Look to a hundred thousand percent the right direction to lead you on the right path to greatness, to positivity, to good strength, to everything and anything. Be, be grateful. Be on the right path. Do, do whatever it takes to be on the right path. Do whatever it takes to make the future for your kids the same future that you had. So back to me. Where do I see myself in five years? I see myself doing the same thing that I am now. Being positive and being kind of a role model to a lot of other people because I am in a way a lot, a lot of the time a role model to a lot of people and I look at that as a great positive light. I completely look at it as a way to a way as a young as a young adult to strive to be an even better an even better um, just old, as I get older an even better adult as I get older an even better adult with a better career with a better career and a, a way of life that they able to blossom into. Share it with the world in a way that I really thought possible. Because even before I started YouTube, I really never thought that the strives and the achievements and the goals and even the stressors and tragedies that I've gone through would change me as much as it has as 2019 comes along. Feel amazingly blessed, amazingly stronger than I have in a really, really, really long time. I feel really, really strong about it. I feel very grateful and thankful for all the support, all the just achievement, and going, going for what I believe in, achieving that goal, achieving the goal in a sense, achieving the goal in me. you think you're going to be in five years, maybe even 10 years, maybe 25 years from now, leave your comments or questions and your stories down below. I will do my best to respond to comments, and I pretty much do that like every other day. I look at comments, so leave your stories down below, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'm going to catch my breath because I've been talking for quite a while. Thank you guys so much for watching. Links are down below. Catch the last few Vlogmas videos. Um, other than that, I had to catch my breath, but thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. Keep those resolutions going. If you have any comments, stories, questions down below, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in another vlog.